Now, let's have a closer look on Soul Setting Machine RS3060. To begin with, let me explain why it is almost impossible to get quality saw tooth settings on ordinary setting machines. All setting machines operate on a principle of two parallel paddles with a bunch of blade placed between them and two pins that are supposed to press the saw blade inside during saw teeth setting. In fact, practically none of all setting machines actually have parallel paddles. Surely they are warps in one or two planes. Usually pins are weak or just warped. Pressing mechanisms can be of different types, lever type, eccentric, and screw. It doesn't actually matter. No matter what type is used, the result is always the same, the swing. Meaning that when tooth is pressed, instead of it setting, the whole blade starts to bend due to paddles misalignment and the pin's weakness. And every pressing leads to different bending. Therefore, you never know accurately to what extent the tooth is set even when display readouts are same for every measurement. It is very easy to check it. Repeated pressing of the lever might display a difference in readouts in about 10 or more units from the required value. Taking into consideration that maximum difference in settings allowed for the blade to saw well is 2 units on each tooth. If setting difference on certain teeth is 5 units, blade starts sawing well but quickly becomes wavy as part of teeth dies and not take part in a sawing process. If difference on certain teeth exceeds 5 units in increasing direction, distinct machining marks become visible on craving wood surface. With difference in more than 5 units in decreasing direction, part of teeth stops working permanently, increasing load on adjacent teeth. This is particularly dangerous when several teeth in a row are not set correctly, bringing severe impulsive blows on following one after the block, leading to wave generation and gnawed parts and also to an intensive micro cracks formation and finally rapidly breaking bands of blade. In the end, using ordinary saw setting machines, you will get unpredicted setting values and respective sewing quality. Now, knowing what main problems of ordinary setting machines are, let us show improvements done in RS3060 to prevent you from facing these problems. In our setting machine, bandsaw blade is not fastened with pins, but by analogy with press fastened with central paddle. Owing to this fact, blade is firmly fastened during setting processes, allowing to completely remove swing effect. No matter how many times you perform checking procedures, readout dispersion will not exceed one unit maximum. Now let us explain why it is called semi-automatic. To begin the setting process, it is enough just with one screw eliminating warp to change vertical position of indicator platform adjusting required proper tooth setting height. As the platform moves strictly parallel to the base, the setting to both sides will always be of the same value, which excludes bands or blades plunging up or down. After that, you start setting procedure of this tooth. Keeping saw blade fixed, you put shaft of three teeth pushing mechanism onto the 6th tooth from set 1 and rest against its front fringe. After that, unscrew 3 teeth pushing mechanism's base wing nut and rest it against 3 teeth pushing mechanism's shaft holder. That's it! 3 teeth pushing mechanism is designed in a way that it will set only required tooth and it will always set teeth correctly, strictly in the same place. So there is no need for you to set each tooth by side. The same procedure is to be performed with the bandsaw blade from its other side. This mechanism decreases saw setting time 2-3 to three times, but here by providing accurate line of set teeth, without swings and head lips of tooth cutting shores, a setting of each tooth performed at exactly the same place. 4 meter bandsaw blade is set by 2 grinder in 6-10 to 10 minutes with plus or minus 1 unit precision in our service center. This proficiency is usually achieved after setting of only several dozens of bandsaw blades. In the end, by setting bandsaw blades with RS3060, you obtain guaranteed quick settings of every blade of high quality, all of which cutting shows are strictly in one line with precision of plus or minus one unit.
with following setting basso blades will operate only well. In conclusion, I would like to add several explanations to greatly advertise different automatic saw setting machines and machines performing setting of two teeth at the same time. These types of machines are advertised by vendors a lot mainly because they are supposed to facilitate two grinders work performing automatic saw settings or setting of two teeth at the same time from both sides of the blade. This is a good advertising trick for those who have never set themselves a bandsaw blade. Those who have prepared at least one bandsaw blade for operation know perfectly well that each tooth has to be set individually. Leading pusher back results in tooth springing back for some distance. Provided that spraying back of even one blade can fluctuate between 5 and 25 units of indicator. Therefore, two grinder has to perform 2 to 3 pressings, often reaching different levels on indicators. That is, with different efforts each, to achieve required setting value. Also, some teeth spring less than others. So in 1 to 2 pushes reaching wall springing tooth levels on indicators, they remain set with a bigger distance than required. So these teeth have to be bent back specifically. That is why it is not possible to achieve accurate saw settings just by putting bands of blades through the machine that sets two teeth simultaneously for several times. Now it should even be clear for you that it isn't possible to set neither one nor two teeth by simply one pressing. Even having these machines adjusted precisely gives you dispersion of values plus minus 10 units or more. When setting saws on these machines, you should always bear in mind that you will only get fast settings without guaranteed quality of the result. Saw setting will always be unpredictable, and consequently even well grinded saws will operate unpredictably. In conclusion, I would like to record our company's motto, Saw and don't suffer. Gain profit, not problems. The choice is always yours to make. In this video, we've just tried to present information that can help you to make the correct decision.